Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3. Today we are going to start a second and final DLC for this game. Um, Blood of Wine, right that was the name. And I made some off-camera preparations for that. Like um, I looked at all the stuff that I got in the last few episodes. For example, this new silver sword, the Viper Venomous Silver Sword, which is the sword that I found in Odim's weird world where he put me when I had to solve the riddle. I also crafted the corresponding steel sword. Um, I think I got the diagrams for that at the auction. And as you can see, I already enchanted both of them, so they're ready to use. I also have the diagrams for the Viper armor. Um, but I haven't made up my mind yet if I want to use it and it's level 40 anyway, so I couldn't wear it because I just reached level 39. Anyway, um, we have a DLC to start and it may be useful to read the description again before we uh, start this. It was a time when there seemed to be two girls. One was a celebrity, at least in certain circles, while the other remained a mercenary who did dirty work for coin. At any rate, both these girls happened on a contract of an unusual sort, not because it marked the start of a new adventure. And this adventure I will gladly relate. It began in a manner most ordinary, with a notice posted on a board in Valen. The Witcher read the notice and set out to see what else he could learn. And apparently I'm supposed to meet some knights from Toussaint in Holloway, which um, is somewhere in the central Valen over here. So yeah, let's go there without further ado and see what this is all about. I'm just going to fast travel to the Stonecutter settlement. What's going on? What's going on here? Hunger's turned this one pale. Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> ha! Sit with us, Witcher. You have quite Found fancy your message armors. on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and <laughs> Palmerin de Longfour. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These planterers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. All right, well, um, I could help you with the bandits. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmenon wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. <laughs> really? Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Okay. Are coming. Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them.
contemptible cars. <laughs> he mean us. I, Parnorin de Lonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores, abandon <laughs> the path of shame, and we Garrett's will spare you. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think this is going to work. I could jest that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off while we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> um... Yeah, you should listen to him, but um, I don't think it's going to work. Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's afeard of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron, you will pay with your own blood! By the crane, villains, ready your arms! Alright, I guess, um, we have to fight one way or the other. Let's do this! It's quite a few of them, actually, so... Also, um, hang on a second, I should make sure I'm regaining some health, because I'm... I can use the enchantment on my sword. Right? Oh, now I took some damage, but... It will regenerate! <laughs> um, let me take care... Oh, this must be, must be their leader. Maybe I'm going to save the leader for last. Okay, who else needs to be killed? Well, most of the rest have shields, so let me use an axe on them. Alright, there we go. I think we killed the leader already. That guy is dead, and we have someone with a crossbow over here, and another guy over here. And I think someone is still using ranged. Yes, we still have some ranged guys over here. I will deal with them. There we go. So, um. Is this all? No, um, you still have one guy over here. Let me help you with that. There Why we go. Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the Scantrus, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. <laughs> Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ugh, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no <laughs> noble deed goes unthwarted. Yeah. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... <laughs> is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifels nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. 
But us never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. <laughs> Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star-crossed city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. All right, well, so it's basically a monster contract. Call? Um, did she really say all of that? Anna Henrietta really say all that, word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. <laughs> the Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. All right, well, um, sure. Why would I not take this contract? Which has got to eat, right? So tell me more about the beast. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly. Though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately hmm. to fetch you. Promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Well, the beast looks vaguely human. Assuming these are at least partially correct. So, does it wield black magic? Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor hurt, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect. But of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. All right, um, have you tried trapping it yet? Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errand, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. <laughs> and tell me about this tourney. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. Before an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Um, all right then. Well, this piques my curiosity, so of course I'll take the contract. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly <laughs> any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Tucson. To Tucson! Post haste, of course. Well, even the horses are all... Plated in gold.
Toussaint, the land of fluff and wine. Hm. Exactly how I remembered it. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty. You will Look find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. <laughs> Knights errant, elven palaces. Do you insinuate that we are somehow odd? <laughs> no. I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. You just speak slightly odd. Oh, what's going on there? Uh, what the hell is that? Doesn't happen often in these parts. Uh. Maybe we should have that guy. We have some problems with some sort of hulk like creature. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, just arrived and already. We're in a battle against Goliath. Is it its name or its um, species? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. What can we do here? Well, um, doing some good damage. I probably just need to avoid getting hit by that great hammer, or whatever it's carrying. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward, huh? There we go. <laughs> Whoops, don't get smashed by the falling giant. Big beast. Tackling it single-handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. Well, I'm sorry I stole your kill. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Well, um... It's a giant, apparently. How did it get here? A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Okay, Rumored so it is to have his been a name. knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and mm. banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. <laughs> uh, I like the way these people talk. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take the trophy. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample <laughs> any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. All right, um, yeah, let's uh, have a look at that crime scene, I suppose. Milton the Bayrak Baron. I still can't get over that name, by the way. So, um... 
Ooh, look at that. That guy is dropping greater red mutagens. That is interesting. Um, yeah, I can move freely now. However, I think it's probably a good idea to follow the main story for, I don't know, a few episodes. So I will um, Brave kid, leave Guillaume. all explorations Robin and, and other stuff for later. Guillaume is his kid. Go, go. Um, mutations and Grandmaster Witcher gear. In Blood and Wine you can undergo additional Witcher mutations and to unlock new capabilities. Soon you will run into a messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of Professor Moreau to learn about these mutations. They say a master craftsman lives in Toussaint who can craft Witcher gear of unequal quality. What's more, you receive special bonuses for wearing all or part of a set of this extraordinary equipment. You will not regret investigating these new options. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Slow but yeah, let's just follow the guy now and um, progress the main story a little bit before we go and Run, start exploring roach. this new place. Which is very bright and very colorful. <laughs> Can't get used to the way you knights talk, <laughs> especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. <laughs> knights errant, in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. All right. That's go, fine go. With me. No, now. Whoa. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Okay, let's investigate. Aha. Uh -huh. I see footsteps. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Hmm. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. All right. What's all the stuff here, by the way? Um. I hear something. Got guests. What? Careful. What is that? A scarver? What is a scarver? Is this? Something like a drowner. Why do they look like drowners? Oh, but they explode. So they're more like... Um... Rock fiends, huh? Yeah, they explode and... It can get dangerous. They do. Alright, noted. Alright, let's get away from it. Um, I still see an enemy over here. Are you underground? Oh, well, there you are. Alright, let's kill that guy too and let's get away from Drawn it. Down here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. Alright, well, we do have a new fauna here. Well, they are apparently related to rot fiends. Because I drop rot fiend blood. And yeah, apparently the creatures in this place they drop um greater or normal mutagens. Not the lesser ones. It's interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. um let's investigate. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. So, these are the boot prints of the soldiers, Only right? Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Okay. That is uh, a first hint. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Use your witcher senses to search the nets Gonna for Gonna dive clues. in. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to look in the water. But, um, have I found everything of interest 
In this place... Look at the rut. Guardsmen left this site by boat, recently. Probably to transport the body somewhere. Okay, so the body is no longer here. Um, but yeah, I already see some stuff in the water, so let me have a look at that. <laughs> and I'm supposed to look at the nets. Oh, I see. Well, um, this isn't helpful. Neither is this. <laughs> Um, let me have a look at the other nets as well. Handkerchief. Monogram DLC. <laughs> okay, that seems to be Silk important. Handkerchief. Monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Alright, I'm supposed to talk to Milton now. But, um, let me have a quick look around the water. Is there other stuff that is noteworthy? Ah, no, I don't think so. Alright, let's, uh, get back on land. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Well, yeah, apparently someone's watching us. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet! Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. <laughs> and I found a handkerchief. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not hmm. return now. I understand. Okay. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to right. leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In <laughs> fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Man, running in that heavy plate armor must suck. Especially in sunny weather. At least it gives me some time to loot. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Palmerin's presence, however. He was such familiarity wine, offensive. A watering hole for indeed. traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint! <laughs> Alright, well, this looks like a pleasant place. And we have a notice board apparently, but um, I'll look at that later. By my troth! Could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? <laughs> Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today. 
on account of there being no crayfish. <laughs> I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Uh, they have they have a really roundabout way um, of saying things. Yeah, I'm Geralt. Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir de Peyrac Peyron. <laughs> Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky <laughs> wet as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Um, all right, yeah, tell me about the interesting part. I don't really care about the sky. Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... <laughs> by my troth, to the point, man! You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy, hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned, <laughs> I hear the sky was red again. I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright, I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me. Then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Hm. All right, and where is the body now? Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corvo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Hmm. Who was that? Woman who Serious just left. shady lady. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rassel's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Rossell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have defined that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Um, all right, and why exactly would they say that? So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. <laughs> Let him talk. The Duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codswallop. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. Um, all right, uh, but is there anything else that people say about the beast? They say anything else about the beast? 
Besides it being a messenger of the gods. <laughs> the two Santois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Mm. Picky monster. Well, that can't be a coincidence, right? But what's the meaning behind that? Yeah, maybe I should go and examine the body. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Covo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some <laughs> sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this year's game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little okay. tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. <laughs> One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, <laughs> Milton. And good luck. Alright. Okay, um... Here we are. In Toussaint, in a nice little tavern. Uh, let me quickly pick up the loot on this table. Gottfried and the chess board a knight. Alright. I'm going to have a look at that later. I suppose I can't talk more to you guys. Ah, well, composed pate, I must admit. <laughs> A toll collector. Oh. I shall be off once I finish my pate. The cook has worked wonders as always. Well, maybe I should try some of that pate if it's really that great. Oh. But yeah, um, I think this is a good time to make a cut here. Let me quickly leave the place. I'm going to go back inside um, next episode. Yeah, um, we have an interesting new place to explore here. Do I have a map, by the way? I do. Places where you can begin new quests from blood and wine are marked with the exclamation mark icon. Okay, well. Yeah, look at this. This is a quite extensive map. Bunch of little villages, notice boards. This seems to be the, uh, well, town. Okay, but yeah, let's uh, make a cut here and end the last episode. Um, I will check out the notice board. I will um, look at the tavern in more detail in the next episode. But then I want to follow the main story uh, for a while longer until I find a good point where you can, you know, branch off and do some explorations. But yeah, um, this is going to be interesting, I'm sure. So let's see how this will continue tomorrow. As usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.